Is it okay here? Yes. Here? Good morning. Yeah, good uh, morning, Zambia. We have appeared this morning uh, before the Magistrate Court. This is in relation to an offence where Dr. Feldman is facing one count of... Uh, seditious practices and our client has since pleaded not guilty and will be appearing in court uh, very soon. We are a nation in crisis. The challenges are too many. For the first time in our history, since electricity came to this territory, we are having load shedding of 22 hours or so. This is not a small thing. Modern human beings cannot do without electricity. When you have electricity for 20, without, you are going without electricity for 20 hours, 22 hours, it's not a small thing. The cost of living is skyrocketing. Most families are struggling to feed today. Many people are failing to meet their rentals. Some have to shift at night running away from landlords. <laughs> Stock safety is increasing. Petty thieving is increasing. Unemployment is increasing. Businesses are collapsing. Things are not okay. This is not the normal way to run a country. Yes, there is no country without challenges. There is no community without challenges. There is no family without challenges. But this is beyond the reach of many people. Life is breaking. The stress is too high. Corruption is on the upswing. It can't be denied now that Mr. Hichilema is running the most corrupt regime in the history of our country. There is so much inside dealing. People running government, doing business with government institutions, selling to government, buying from government. Nine ministers, we are told, are under investigations. We have an issue of Zambia army with some businessmen in Kenya. The leadership of this country is not commenting. The amount of money involved is huge. It's huge. It's not a small amount of money. They are not commenting. So many things are being said. If those in charge are not commenting, what, can, what should the public conclude? It's either they know something about it or they're involved in it. They have got cuts in it. It's their deal. 
It will not be wrong to conclude that way. Let them explain these things. The Kenyan side has given much more information than the Zambian side. We know there are leaders in our defense forces who have passed through Kenya. Going to Turkey, they spent two days. Going to America, they spent two days. One diverts his itinerary to go and spend two days in Kenya. What can people conclude? What were they doing there? Can they explain amidst this deal? Some of the leaders of armed forces were in the pictures with the same people in Kenya who are alleged to be behind this deal. When facts are not brought to the public, insinuations start. Innocent people are implicated. Let them come clean on this issue. The issue that have appeared before, this, uh, before court today is also clear. Instead of addressing the revelations that are made, they wanted to silence those who are asking them to comment, to address those revelations. This is what happens when a leadership is entangled in so many deals, when money becomes the preoccupation of those who run the country, instead of solving the problems of the people, they are more concerned about how much wealth they should accumulate. They are not concerned about the hunger of their people. They are not concerned about the stress of their people. They are more concerned about how much money they are making. Today they are selling this to government. Tomorrow they are buying this from government. What type of leaders are these? Is this the way to lead? Have they come to lead or to do business? We are ready for them on this matter. And it will show what they are. Those who fear their own shadows, definitely they have done something wrong. My comrade KK used to say, they are, little, they are frightened little men, scared of their own shadows because of the many wrongs they have done. Thank you very much. What would be your comment that the Socialist Party is crumbling due to what they allege? Uh, resignation from senior members from your party. We explained that issue. The Socialist Party has received more people from other parties than other parties have received from the Socialist Party. <laughs> we have more members who have come from UPND today in our party. Some of our provinces, the entire leadership is either from UPND or from PF, from other parties. We don't parade everybody who joined the party. They don't talk about people who are leaving their parties. People leave. And the number that has left compared to the membership of the party is so small. If those who have left were the cornerstones of the party, then the party will crumble. But most of those people who left found this party moving. They joined just a few months ago and they have left. We have people who went to other parties. They also have left those parties. There was a big story when a certain number of our comrades went to join my brother, Mr. KBF. Ask him if today they are still there with him. They wanted to come back. They wanted to come back. Some of them are scared of coming back because of the things they said about us. We have no problems with anybody. <laughs> we have no problems. Hmm? People leave, even in churches, people leave churches. Some of the people who are attacking us today, they left the Catholic Church. 
Has the Catholic Church crumbled because they left? No. <laughs> Some of the leaders of our political party were in the seminaries of the Catholic Church. They left. Has the Catholic Church collapsed? No. Or the seminaries where they were closed? No. Hmm? There are so many people leaving this church to join this church, leaving this ministry to form their own ministry and so forth. It's no more. We live in a pro society. We live in a society with many diversities. People are free to come in and go. And it's not only in politics. In businesses, people leave employment to join others. Companies close, others are formed. Marriages end, friendships end. People don't die. Yeah? Mm? Your partner leaves you today, your wife leaves you, your husband leaves you, is that death? Yeah. Yeah? Should you be carried straight to, to the cemetery because the, the partner has left? Mm? People move. And the people move for various reasons. We are not here to attack people who left. It's their right, it's their constitutional right. It's their human right, actually. They have the right to associate and dissociate. It's they, are they are free. Have we made mistakes in the dealing with the people who come to our party? Yes, we have made many mistakes. Some of them, they come today, we have given them very senior positions, thinking it's the right thing. Sometimes, yes, we're right. Sometimes we're wrong. Dealing with human beings is not an easy thing. So there's no crisis in the socialist party. The numbers that have left, you can count them and add them. They do not, they are a point zero 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 something percent of the membership of the socialist party. All the parties we have today came from somewhere, from another party. Those parties are still there. How many people have left UPND? Has UPND collapsed? Over the years, how many left? How many vice presidents of UPND left? But UPND is still there. How many secretary generals of, of PF left? Even under Michael Sad. Can you say the party has gone? Today, UPF has got three factions. Can you say PF is dead? We still have people vying for leadership under PF name. We have President Chavinga for PF. <laughs> we have President Miles Sampa for PF. We have His Excellency Dr. Lungu, President for PF. As the PF collapsed, no, PF is still there. It's still there. Are there people still believe in PF? Yes, there are many. Huh? They are still holding meetings, they are still holding rallies and so on. So the number that has left the Socialist Party cannot be compared to the numbers that have left other parties to join the Socialist Party. And people are free today, tomorrow, to go. And also today, tomorrow, to join. You win some, you, you, you gain some. You lose some. It's part of our politics. How many people left Michael Sat? How many? Including his LDC. A person who was driving him. We watch the news at 19 hours. White, white banda is with Jata Mashimba, MMD, the ruling party at that time. We phone Michael. What is happening? The only thing we have been doing is politics. That's what Michael says. We have not committed crimes. We are doing politics. People can leave, can come. Yes, some choose to verify us. It's okay. It's their business. They have nothing else to do other than to verify others. Who haven't they verified? Are we the first ones? Yeah. And we want to be the last ones they verify. When they came to join, they were verifying the people they left behind. But we didn't jump to join them to verify where they came from. 
Today they are verifying us. The same people. You have evidence of what they said about where they have gone or where they came from. Yes. So if we are bad people, we are not the only bad people. <laughs> where they came from, they were bad people. Where they have gone, they used to say they are bad people. So let them live. Do we rejoice in people living? No, we don't. But we respect people's rights. Parting is not sweet. Any parting, whether it's in marriage, in friendship, in politics, in religion, in business, parting is not a sweet thing. But it's a reality of life that we have to accept and to learn to live with. We don't only learn to live with sweet things. We have also to learn with unpleasant things. You have to learn to live with disappointments. It's normal. It's part of life. It's part of our life. I hope I've answered the question, sir. Viva Kosarindu Viva! 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 Amanda! Amanda!